So the political danger of Cleophas Malala being used by President Ruto to eliminate uh, multiple parties in Kenya uh, can have significant effects on the political landscape of our country. Particularly when it comes to democratic principles and uh, representation, that's how we can be affected. So if President Ruto manipulates Malala to fulfill his agenda of consolidating power under one party, it can undermine the multi-party system that Kenya has been built uh, upon over a long period of time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. My name is Dalmas. If you're here for the first time, kindly take a second or two, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. For the returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to support this channel again. And if you're watching me from a different platform, kindly go to YouTube, search DMTV Kenya, subscribe also and be a member. That's the only way you can support me. I want us to look at this topic on how Cleophas Malala is being used by the president and the effects that our country is going into uh, in future years. So, one major event uh, would be the suppression of political diversity and the stifling of different voices and attitudes. Here, I can say that multiple parties provide an avenue for citizens to align with uh, and support ideologies and the policies that resonate with them. So, by trying to uh, remove or weaken these parties, uh, the political space becomes limited, leaving little room for opposition and alternative viewpoints. So this concentration of power sometimes can lead to an uh, erosion of democracy and more authoritarian style of governance. However, uh, the disintegration of multiple parties uh, can create a monopoly of power within the ruling party, potentially uh, resulting in reduced checks and balances. Without robust uh, competition between parties, I can say that the ruling party UDA can go unchecked raising concerns about accountability, uh, transparency, and the potential for abuse of power. So this imbalance of power can impede the ability of citizens to hold their leaders accountable. Again, compromising the democratic principles on which Kenya's governance should be based. The other effects of eliminating multiple parties can extend beyond the political sphere and impact social cohesion. So, political parties often serve as vehicles for representing diverse interests, uh, ethnic groups, we have regions, and socio-economic classes. So if these parties are dismantled, uh, marginalized groups may find it more difficult to have their concerns heard and addressed within the political system. So this exclusion can breed frustration, uh, resentment, and a sense of alienation. Also potentially Dwelling social divisions and unrest. In conclusion, I want to say that if Krofas Malala 
is exploited by President Ruto to eradicate multiple parties uh, in our country, uh, it would pose a significant danger to the country's democratic fabric. So, such a move could lead to a concentration of power, a limited political diversity, and weakened checks and balances. And also don't forget the potential uh, social divisions will be created. So the citizens of Kenya must remain vigilant, uh, actively to promote democratic values and support the preservation that can ensure inclusivity and accountable governance for the next five or four years. So ladies and gentlemen, those are some of the events I wanted to highlight to you and see how Cleovas Malala is going to affect uh, this country if he works for the president and damage the parties that are under Kenya Kwanza. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching this up to the end. Kindly like this video, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And I said you are watching me from a different platform, kindly go to YouTube, search DMTV Kenya, also subscribe, be a member, that's the only way you can support me. Goodbye.